loss yesterday. Still rocking after all these years. This is the story of my rock and roll butler. This is it, the show that started it all. Often imitated, but never equal. From San Francisco, USA, online since 2004, is the one and only rock and roll geek show. With the original rock and roll geek, Michael Butler. Welcome to the Rock and Roll Geek Show. My name's Michael Butler. Thanks a lot for joining me. I really appreciate it. Today is Tuesday, November 1st, 2022, and it is 6.58 p.m. when I'm recording this episode. I got my good friend uh, Casey on the other line. What's up, Michael Butler? How you doing? A.K.A. MC Conky Tonk. That's right. It's the Rock and Roll Geek Show tonight. <clears throat> Richard Fusey, start tuning out now. Uh, Richard Fusey, just home from the hospital. Welcome home, oh, Richard Fusey. Whoa, this is like a this is like someone shit in his get well bouquet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, he, so Richard, you might want to turn this one off because uh, Casey's on. Yeah, your least favorite of all the Rock and Roll Geek Show listeners. How are things going uh, with you, Casey? Oh man, things are going okay. Okay. As, uh, yeah, I was at the uh, had therapy today, which is always uh, kind of draining. What kind of therapy? But I'm going to talk therapy, huh. <laughs> emotional therapy in person. Trying to get my in person. Who, in you, who, are you doing going th- who are you doing therapy with, Erica? No, no, I'm <laughs> going with the therapist. Um, it's some lady in Sebastopol that uh, I had been on. I've been trying to get therapy for like a year and a half. I had Kaiser and um, I was just on, I got like an outside authorization and I couldn't find anyone. I've been on wait lists and wait lists and someone finally like reached out to me. So I've been going for, I don't know, five or six weeks now. So how'd the first, how'd the first session go? So what'd she say? What seems to be the problem, Casey? Oh shit. I don't remember what the first session was. Uh, No, you know, it's just sort of like, I mean, I've done some therapy before, so it just kind of started. Tell her what's going on. Why are you depressed? Uh, well, you know, I mean, she, I mean, I guess besides losing my job and my lady and my home, um, <laughs> Every, other than that, everything's going great. So, <laughs> it's going so, swimmingly, but so you lost your job, which is what the O'Farrell Theater. Yeah, that closed at the pandemic, permanently shut down, and that um, made you depressed. No, that didn't make me depressed, but. Um, you know, I, at the same time, it was, it was, stuff was hard. It was, we were having some troubles, uh, at the home front. And so then the lady, that, the lady sent you packing <laughs> something like that. Um, how'd that go? Did she say it's time for you? You I went you out of the house. Um, no, I mean, I, we, you know, the pandemic was like we got through like 2020 and then in 2021 things were just kind of like things had just been changing for a while and um you know but yeah i mean at some point if it was decided that we should um split up and, and then, and then we, we were going to get through the holidays that was kind of the end that was about this time last year uh-huh. and um we decided to get through the holidays with sunny and everything and then uh yeah, we did that, and January came around, and yeah, it was just kind of time for me to go. Now, did the thought, "Hey, I'm staying, you leave," did that ever thought maybe came up? Um, I mean, I guess the, a resentful side of me would think that, but but no, I mean, it wasn't even an option to me. I mean, if, I don't. I mean, I, you know, my unemployment ran out. I'm still just trying to kind of get my sound career going and I've been working odd jobs. So I just, I don't, I couldn't even, I don't can't sustain that place anyways. I couldn't, I can't even sustain a, <laughs> a house right now. So is this um, talk uncomfortable for you? I mean, I wouldn't good call it comfortable, <laughs> good, <laughs> you know, good. But, but it's not uncomfortable. Well, let's I'm, dig I'm deeper like, then, shall we? Well, you know what I mean? I'm not, um, yeah, basically like I, there, it wasn't, an option for me to stay there. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't have done it. She's got her whole business there. Um, we wanted Sonny to stay there. Um, and so it just sort of, yeah, it was what it is. You know, at any point, did you say, please don't throw me out, please. I'll do anything. Please don't well, break up with me. 
Um, I don't know that I did that. I did, certainly didn't plead. But for there that. was there and was I a little bit of groveling. Um, I mean, I'll say no. <laughs> I, I mean, there was just a lot of heartbreak. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want. I didn't want. I I didn't want this to happen. I don't think that she wanted it to happen. But uh, you know, things have just kind of changed sometimes, and. Um, I, I didn't grovel. I don't, I, I'm, I, you know, I, I think that more, I'm, I think what I'm learning in therapy is that like, I just kind of shut down when I feel uh, a sense of shame. You went, and, why uh, did you feel ashamed? I just kind of felt like, um, now see, I should have been your therapist. <laughs> so yeah, I've, I've had therapy sessions with you before. <laughs> but, uh, so why did you feel the, shame? I mean, I just think I feel, uh, you know, I could, I guess, you know, you just, sometimes you just feel like you're, you're trying your hardest and you, you just can't seem to get it right. Hmm. And, uh, is that what, uh, is that what the, the lady told you the ex? I mean, not the, not the therapist lady. No, no, not at all. Um, she did certainly didn't say that like you're, she certainly didn't say I'm trying hard and I'm not getting it right. Uh, you know, it's just, you know, like, <laughs> um, just just go in different trajectories at different timings and um did anybody you know? um did anybody influence her to dump you i i don't think so i mean i don't know i you know i mean like i didn't get i, I, have, I have no dirt on anything there's nothing salacious has happened unfortunately it's just and, what it is is like really like it's just a really unremarkable sort of like cliche sense of circumstances that just sort of happens you know from what i have read and like learned and understood about it it's just that sort of like read? where'd you read this stuff well i was like i was like reading you know when we were kind of going through it i was like listening to some podcasts and reading up about like just sort of like couples that are you listen to podcasts trouble. on relationships i've listened to a couple at the end of the, our relationship what, yeah what kind of podcast what was decibel geek yeah no, <laughs> classic was, metal was, show <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's classic metal too. Yeah. No, it was some like you know, just like some, some I can't remember some relationship, fucking Lisa, Doctor Lisa, or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, Did you learn but, anything? Uh, well, I think what I learned was at the time, and this, when I sort of think about it too, is just like there's there's two types of like there's like a very common dynamic that can happen in couples, and they call it like the. Um, hmm. And it's like a like one person is kind of pursuing the other person is kind of withdrawing. It's a that's what's called pursuer withdrawing thing. And I think we were just kind of in that cycle. I was definitely kind of withdrawing. Um, she was pursuing just, what? Whatever Another boyfriend? No, 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 no. Like, like let's say, for example, let's take you and your lovely wife. Uh huh. Now let's She's, like let's she say hates my guts and I hide what? in my closet. <laughs> Well, see, there you go. So, see, she's actively like pursuing you, like to change your guts. She hates your guts, uh -huh. and you. And the more she tells you that she hates your guts, the more you go hide in your closet, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then that just furthers a divide over time. So it, instead of like figuring out a way to communicate, when like she's saying, "I hate your guts," and you're just like, "Dude, these are my guts. I don't know what to do about it. I'm trying to get my guts in a way that you'll like them." But you know what I mean? I can't seem to do that. And then, so you just keep going down into the basement and doing your podcast and she keeps, you know, going upstairs, you know, and it's not like that. I don't think that she hates my guts. I certainly it, don't hate her guts. At any point, did the term codependent come up? Uh, yes. It did. I'm sure it has. Yes. I mean, she called you codependent? Um, no, not necessarily, but I think that, I think that we both have hmm. codependency traits. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Do you know, there's a yeah. good, there's a good codependency therapist out there. <laughs> I can recommend I you. <laughs> yeah. I don't, it has a good I mean, practice. I don't think that, uh, have you gone to that? Have you seen that, that therapist at all? Have you talked to that person? Not. You have not. I have not. I have not. Do you think, uh, the ex went to that therapist at all i'm sure they've talked of course <laughs> i'm sure they've spoken i don't are if you're asking me do i think that that do i think that 
that that is the reason why this is happening? No, I don't think there's there's no one to blame about. There's nothing. There's not like an outside source. It would be really great and convenient to be like, oh yeah, she got in her ear and it's like blah 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 and, and fuck it all. You know what I mean? Like it's not like that. The reality of the situation is, we. I mean, hopefully, hopefully these aren't the show liner notes. I mean, I don't know whatever people can hear it. <laughs> you know, the you know, we we're just kind of like have been changing over the course of uh-huh. several years, right? Uh-huh. I think that like a lot of the things that used to connect us kind of like stopped happening. We quit drinking. Mm. We our band kind of like dwindled away. Um, you know what I mean? Like so the, you think the quitting we, drinking could have had something to do with you guys breaking up? I think it played. I think that what happened, I, I think that stopping drinking, not playing music and like stopping like cooking together, which are like three major things that we used to do all the time together. And Why like, did all, you stop night. drinking and cooking together if it made you guys love each other so much? Well, I don't know that it made us love each other so much. What, I guess what it feels like to me is If you that, got along um, so good when you were cooking and drinking, why didn't you go back to cooking and drinking? You know, I don't know. It's a good question. Uh-huh. Aha! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There, you know, there's, there's, I think, like... I don't know, man. It's it's just it's just the complicated. It's just right. a relationship. Okay. He's There's nothing even glorious about it. It's just a relationship. Are we we started changing? We started doing different things. I like, you know what I mean. Like, I like what I like. You know what I mean. You know what I like. I like fucking drinking and rock and roll. <laughs> and so like when that's kind of like drying up, it's like I don't I don't know what to do with myself all the time, um, you know, and probably didn't you know, and just kind of handled it my own way of just sort of like, so so now that the drinking, uh, so are you drinking again? Right now I am drinking a rationale citrus, hazy IPA, non-alcoholic brew. Well, maybe you should start drinking again. Well, I thought about it. Um, Uh, but the therapist talked you out of it. No, no, no one's talked me out of it. I mean, um, I just, at this point, it's been I haven't drinking for over three, like three and a half years, um, and it just, you know, what I have going in my favor throughout this like really sort of, I mean, honestly, like devastating part of my life is that like I'm a little bit more like grounded in it. Like uh-huh. I'm not just like I think of, like drinking wouldn't do anything, but probably make me angry over emotional over reactive and it's just also like and honestly like it, it's just i don't need it right now like it, it just it doesn't seem like the good it just seems like it would be probably like a step backwards when i'm trying to figure out steps forward i'm trying to like so uh, yeah i've got uh, i've got a whole i gotta spread my whole life over i gotta like not as, like, girls aside it's like i'm just trying to get like a whole new career going i'm fucking digging <laughs> basically right uh, now you know what i mean uh, this is getting so, uh, this is getting uh, beyond uncomfortable so i'm gonna change the subject okay great <laughs> <laughs> so what'd you do for halloween did you take the did you take sunny out trick-or-treating uh yeah well i actually natalie and i took sunny trick-or-treating with some of his friends so uh, the both of you yes. went together we met up with a group of people, yeah. Was one of those people Natalie's new boyfriend? No. Hmm. If she has a new boyfriend, I don't know about oh, it. Oh, does she? Um, oh, she? Oh, you don't know if she does. No, I, if, if she does, I do not know about it. I hope this is not how I'm finding out about it. Did you bring your um, new girlfriend? No, I definitely do not have a new girlfriend. <laughs> I have... Um, it's... Yeah, it's not even... I mean, what, I have nothing to offer anyone, right? You're right. I mean, I mean, I kind of just feel like what, you know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm reeling and wounded of what am I going to offer someone? Like, Hey, you know what I mean? I'm literally, I'm staying at my grandma's house right now. While I'm trying to, if I can figure out how to like restart my life. Yeah, so, at any point, did you think about going gay? I mean, I thought about it, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like you just don't, you don't seem that into it. So I don't know. You're, you're, you're you know, you're, You've you've shifted hard right. You used to oh. be open to that kind of shenanigans, but yeah. now, you know what I mean. Like you're you're anti all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, no, I'm so. all homophobic. I got all homophobic. 
<laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? Like he used to be just a pretty straightforward I guy. I used to be down to the. I used to be down for the butt fucking. Now I'm homophobic. He used to be. They used to be down to whip it out with some other dudes. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that, I don't think that's happening anymore. So in turn, you you went into your shell and made another rap album. So uh, well, no, I mean I. What happened was I had been working. The rap album kind of started a while back, actually, probably like the end of 2019. I had started working on my follow-up songs. I had learned like a new program called Ableton, and it was sounding super sci-fi to me. So I just kind of evolved into a space rap song. So what happened is I was probably 80% done with it. And then when we separated and I moved out, I just kind of like used it as a, something to keep myself busy so i finished it up i finally got it done and i wanted to just get it out and move on to the next projects um so yeah so that's kind of what happened so a lot of these songs actually are i wouldn't say i think only one of them were actually kind of like lyrically maybe one or two were recorded post um post breakup Hmm. So there are actually plenty of like you'll hear, but I mean, there's a lot of, um, I mean, they're all kind of jokes. <laughs> you know what I mean? But there's, like, uh, there's a lot there, of what kind of jokes? No, they're all jokes. I mean, the songs are all kind of like comedy. They're all making fun of myself. But like, for example, my song, my earth song called deep fake uh-huh. is like a story about just like, uh, coming too fast. Wait a minute. I don't see deep fake on here on the list. What are you? What album are you looking at? I'm looking at Space Case. On what? What are you looking at? It on it's on the, third the Apple, song. on the Apple Music. Oh, Deep Fake, like on Life on Earth. Sorry, I can't read. Yeah. It. So, like that song, for example. There's a little I E look, next to him. Does that mean it's explicit? That's right. So okay, there's one, two, three. I think four, they're all five. explicit except. Well, for some one. of them don't say explicit on them. Two of them are not explicit. Is your the, son the, on any of these rap tunes? Yeah, did you hear that one? He's on Sunny. He's on Mercury and Retrograde. He okay. is, is he, rapper Tectonic. Oh, he's Tectonic. I thought Tectonic yeah. was a real was a big name rapper. He is. It's he's a like nine year old powerhouse. Have you heard my rap tune? I have. Uh, not in a long time. Not since the last time I came on and plugged my last rap oh. album. But I think that you played it then. But go ahead, put it on. <laughs> Let's hear mine real quick. Hold on. Yeah, a let's, let's take a listen here. Hold on. I can't find it. While I can't, you're searching, I can't, I can't find it. Okay. Well, <laughs> so this new rap album, it kind of like, I, I did a couple like songs that were sort of like sci fi sounding to my ear. And then I just sort of decided, like, oh, if I make a concept record where every oh, song wait, is oh, like I found a different it. I found planet. It. I yeah, found there you go. It. I found it. Okay. Well, I'll hear it again. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we'll hear it. Okay, let me turn it off. Yo, check this out. Well, my name is M Squared, and I'm telling you this. My old man got up in my grill, and it got me real pissed. Really, really pissed. Motherfucker got me holed up in my crib In my crib Damn, I'm about to bust a cup of cats in his grill Bust a cap in his grill Bust a cap in his grill Motherfucker gonna bust a cap in his grill Yeah See, I rolled in four hours late Motherfucker just blew his stack Jack <laughs> He blew his stack. Really, 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 really whack. Really, 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 really. Now that's some uh, real hardcore gangster yeah. shit. That's it's, not impressive. Like... it's impressive because you can tell that that's Hold all on, freestyle. Hold on, I don't even know where it's What? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, word. Okay. What now? What? I said, oh, it's impressive. You can tell it's all freestyle. That was not rehearsed. No. He just kind of went for it. Yeah. He just picked up a mic and so I can spit it, dude. Freestyle. I was angry. Very angry. Yeah, and I'll oh, tell you what. Oh, hold on. You know, very rarely do you hear people threatening to bust a cap in someone's grill. Yeah. It's usually right in the ass, but you're taking it straight up to the top. Shoot, I'm going to shoot him in the teeth. I'll shoot him in the teeth. Shoot him in the teeth. <laughs> 
That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some hardcore shit. That's you know that that's the kind of shit that really scares people. That kind of rap. <clears throat> Totally. And that, you know, maybe that's, you know, why the world's not ready for you. And <laughs> to stuff. You know what? There were a couple of moments and I heard it like, you know, I bet that if I got, if we like wrote, I bet if we really wrote out a song, we could make, I bet I could make a pretty sweet rap song with you if you actually wrote out the lyrics and we did a little bit of <laughs> fine tuning. Yeah. So who knows? Maybe uh, you need to start thinking of your rap man. Uh, speaking of projects, uh, you want to, can you talk about the other secret project that's going to happen? We can talk about that. I have some new thoughts on it. I have some a collection of new songs that I think I'm going to do with you. Uh-huh. Um, Casey and I are talking heard. about doing a um, split solo album. That's right. Flub Brothers. The Flub Brothers, yes. So I've got um, I got some of the like, sad bastard songs I sent you, but I got some bunch of, I got a handful of new ones that I'm, I'm thinking are going to be more appropriate for you and I. And, um, like what style are those? Well, still, they're, they're just, I mean, right now I'm just doing acoustic. We can do however we want. you Michael sent me a song. It's really great. And it, but it's, it's, it's not really an acoustic song. I mean, he's using electric instruments, even though he's performing an acoustic. But, um, I sent you that song struggling and lonely. And I think I would use something like that. I got one that's kind of like a little bit of like an uncle salty vibe. Uh-huh. Um, I got one that's kind of, um, like a kind of deserty feeling thing, just a little bit more. I got a um, an Amer. I just came up with an Americana one that I I just got to finish the lyrics, but I got the chorus and I got I got a bunch of lyrics, but I got all the music and everything's done. Yes, I love the Americana vibe. And so have yeah, so harmonica I, it, on it. Now you're talking. That's you have harmonica yeah, so think... and 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 I'm gonna put um, accordion on it too because I just got a new accordion. Yeah, so I think like, oh, you got an accordion? Uh huh. Somebody gave me one. Let, in Jackson. Let me hear you squeeze that thing. I don't know how to play it. That's the only problem. <laughs> well, you don't know how to play harmonica either. No, but, <laughs> but I did get a set of harmonicas, and I and I played the harmonica along to the song, and it's mm-hmm. it's good enough. I can play it good enough. <laughs> yeah, so I like. I think our our project is going to be this sort of singer songwriter uh, duo. Now that it's out there in the world, we're going to have to actually follow. Now we got to do it. <laughs> Yeah, so I have a little collection of like acoustic songs that are kind of just like, honestly, probably like my heartbreak songs. And I think I might just not stay attached to anybody but myself on those couple ones. And then um, I have this new set of songs that I want to record and record with you. Um, You shit out the songs. It takes me forever to come up with a song. Well, I got a lot of fucking... I got a lot of sorrow, but some of these, you know, like honestly, a lot of songs, even those acoustic songs I sent, some of them are years old also. I mean, some of them were like one song's about drinking. <laughs> so, I mean, this is like that's three years ago when I wrote it, at least, you know, three and a half years ago. Um, but yeah, I mean, there, you know, when I sit down, I usually come up with something. And then my problem is I don't sit down every night with my guitar like I should. So it kind of just spurts, you know what I mean? Sometimes I'll I'll have a big binge of playing for a couple weeks, and then I won't so I can touch it for a couple weeks. So it just kind of depends on what projects I'm in the middle of working on, too. Um, so you're so, kind like I said. Go ahead. So go ahead. No, I'm just saying like I've been my my focus over the past couple weeks has been finishing up the rap record and getting it out and trying to so I can make some Instagram posts about it. So <laughs> now the rap album is out. Mm-hmm. Is it out? I didn't on, press it. It's not. No, on it's just title. digital. Nah, I just did. I. It was. I. You know what? I have. I pressed. I think two hundred and fifty of the first Conky Tonk records, and I have about a hundred and fifty of them <laughs> just sitting in a closet. So <laughs> I don't need another just like bunch of boxes laying around. You know what I mean? I I pre sold what I could. And, you know, I don't care that much. So I was just. Uh, I just wanted to just do it and have fun doing it, and so, I like it. I like the way it came out. So I don't know how many rock and roll geek friends. Well, I don't even know if, if anybody listens to the show anymore since the donations are dropping off like flies. But I, I don't hear know how that. Many, I don't know how many rock and roll geek friends are are into rap. But um, you know what? A couple guys um, bought the record from the Rock and Roll Geek Show. There, I got some. I got a little, some couple private messages last time I was on, and a couple guys bought it. I don't know if they want their, you know, I don't know if they want that out in the world being known that they. <laughs> buy secret rap albums but 
Um, no, the, I, there's been some really nice rock and roll geek guys. Weren't you supposed to play a uh, open up for some rapper in in San Francisco? Well, uh, yeah, I was. Uh, <laughs> it, it, I was. I was in heavy consideration to open up for Sir Mix a lot. I was never going to actually perform live, and now I actually don't ever even ever have to. But I saw. I was looking around at shows, and I saw that uh, he was playing at Bob of the Hill with no. Uh, no opening acts. It just said TBA. So I messaged Ramona and uh, she for, I guess Ramona's retired now or whatever. So she forwarded it to the new booker who got back to me. She's like, Hey, I checked it out. I really like it. And I want to just like sit on it for a couple days. And then uh, she got back to me and sent a really nice email. She's like, I did a lot of soul searching, but I'm, I'm afraid that I don't want Nick's to think that we're making a joke out of his evening. Which is funny because if you've ever seen the Baby Got Back video, it's just him singing yeah. on a giant. So, so ass. she thought your rap was joke rap. It well, it is joke rap. I mean, it is, I mean it's good. It doesn't mean I'm, I'm doing it seriously, but it's all yeah. But but know, Sir Mix a Lot's last... got Baby Got Back with chicks with big ass chicks bouncing in. Yeah, the, and, I, and did you? And I'm, I was singing about lighting your farts on fire, and I guess it just maybe didn't. You would think uh-huh. baby got back and farts go hand in hand, but you think it had anything to do with you being white? No, no. I don't. Okay, do you? Uh, I don't know. I'm not at familiar with you? the rap scene, with the rap promotional oh, no. scene. Nah, I don't. I I doubt that. I that certainly didn't cross my mind at all. What would you have done? How would you have performed if you would have performed? Uh, would you have just done backing tracks and bit, got there by yourself? I think so. I was going to figure it out. I had reached out to a couple buddies that were on the, um, they were on my album, on both albums, and I said, "Hey, I've got this potential gig. Would you guys come do it with me?" And they were like, "Yeah." Uh, but yes, yeah, so I think what I would have done is just like pulled the vocal tracks out, and they probably kept like the choruses in or something, or like. Some, if there's like occasional little harmony parts and little sound effects, I would have kept all that. And I just would have taken the lead vocal out and just, I mean, yeah, I guess I don't know how they do it. I guess I, does, again, I guess does Sir Mix a lot have a band or does he do, do tracks? I don't know. I've only been to one rap show in my life. I saw Run DMC a long time ago yeah. and uh, they had a DJ. They had friggin Jam right. Master J. You could have, yeah. So he was, you know what I would, I didn't know. What would you have done? I would have had a turntable, and I would have I would have done um, I would have played turntable with my feet. I would have had a turntable on the floor. I would have had two turntables on the floor, and I would have played each one. I would have been barefoot, and I would have played each one, scratching with one foot, and then scratch the other one with the other foot. That would have been pretty <laughs> fresh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I didn't know what I was figured. I would just figure it out if I got the gig. I mean, honestly, I do, I couldn't even like, I don't even know the songs, you know, I just kind of record them and then I don't, I certainly don't sit around and like practice them after they're done. Um, and most of these, like, you know, there's a lot of like minute to two minute long songs on this record. It's, um, so I just do little verses and, and move along. So I was just, I just figured like, well, I just kind of threw myself in the fire. I was like, if I get it, then I'll figure it out. And I didn't get it, so I didn't have to figure it out. Yeah. So, so I didn't get any further than... It's called Space Case, the name of the album. Space in, Case is the name of the new album. MC Conky Tonk. With MC artwork Conky by... Tonk. Artwork by who? Uh, by Jim, my friend Johnny Freebird that I used to work with. Uh, he actually owns an art gallery now in San Francisco on uh, Larkin Street. It's called Moth Belly. Uh-huh. And uh, he, it's like a kind of like a community nonprofit uh, art gallery. It's on Larkin and I want to say Sutter. Uh, yeah, so he's trying to get that off going. So San Francisco people should go by and tell him Conky Tonk sent you. Did he make you um, a uh, full size like painting of your album cover? Yeah, I have it. It's like eleven by eleven. So oh, he's cool. been like he. I've known him for a really long time. And he's just a good dude. So he he did it for me. For a, he did me a solid created that for me but yeah so it's like uh, i actually picked it up last time i was in the city i had to go down for something and i went and had uh, lunch with gage or a dinner with gage and then i s- stopped by and grabbed it so um yeah it's like a full like he drew it. it's all pen drawing the it's art awesome. and then the he- artwork is you in a space space helmet in uh-huh. in space with my glass with my sunglasses on with your and sunglasses on. and uh four 
large alien women, women. four well endowed uh well <laughs> four uh I don't want to say fat, but a little bit chubby women on the on the fro- floating around in space on planets. Yeah, so the album concept was like every song was going to take place on a different planet, and sort of like there's like the the underlying one of the underlying themes is like my sort of like mission to go and uh, like try to like score with alien babes. Ah, so it's, <laughs> yeah. it's a concept album. It's a concept album, yes. Every song is a fix. Every song is like a different uh, planet. So, it, so the, except for like, so blast off is like the is like the is like the intro. You're heading to the and planets. The, I'm I'm heading to, I'm heading out to space. The I'm, rockets I'm bouncing going around. Rockets so taking song, off, and you're gonna head to that's space. That's what happens on the first song. Maybe you should just go ahead and play that one. You're All gonna right, really let's hear a little bit of blast in. off. You know, <laughs> you know what I call blasting off. Oh, I know what you call blasting yeah. off. That's a di- <laughs> diarrhea, right? Yes. Explosive diarrhea? Yes. Mm-hmm. Extreme anal discharge. That's right. Here comes the rocket. You hear my Dirty Deeds uh, backing vocals in there? Ah. Ah. Yeah. And you're talking like you're coming through the radio, like Countdown. That's right. That's right. I'm I'm, I'm talking to NASA. Uh Uh-oh. The the rocket's got a problem. That's right. Abort! 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 No turning back now. That's right. Heading into the hey. ground control to Major Tom. Oh, I do work in some of the David Bowie references. Oh, really? Okay. Songs. Yeah. And here he goes into space. Yeah, so that's like my. Uh... Oh. Oh, there's uh, there's Tectonic right there, isn't? It? Yeah, was that a, was that a guest a vocal intro. by Tectonic? Yeah, that's a that's a second Tectonic visiting. Yeah, was the seduction of Mars, parentheses space case. That's right. <laughs> now, who's that talking right there? Is that uh, Rose? That's, that's Tectonic. Oh, it's Tectonic doing both. He is 2146. MC Constantin still coming up with the hits. Been cloned and mutated so many times. It's hard to recognize myself besides my one bloodshot pale blue eye. Now, did you send the old album to Bottom of the Hill or the new one? I sent the old album. Okay. This wasn't out yet. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Chance for mankind sent on a one way mission across. Who ended up opening for MC Square or whatever his name was? Sir Mix. I don't know. I. Stop paying attention as soon as it wasn't me. I boycotted (laughs) it too in on solidarity to you. No, thank you. I appreciate that. I you know, I didn't let those guys diss my friend. Fuck her. Bitter brothers. That's right. The bitter brothers. (laughs) (laughs) Seduction of Mars. I like that. Yeah, it's a nitrous balloon. Did you play this for Natalie, or you guys were still together and you played this for her? Yeah, she's heard all this. She, she like it? I don't know. Oh, she didn't give you an opinion? <laughs> I'm just, I, yeah, she likes it. I think she thinks it's cool that I'm doing it. You know what I mean? I, I wanted her to be on one of the songs. Couldn't make it happen. I did reuse a sample of her oh. that, from the last record. Um, <clears throat> but no, no, she likes it. She's, she's always been pretty supportive of it. She, oh. she thinks it's pretty cool. Okay. I can't get you to say anything bad about her, huh? I would never say anything bad about her. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, it's not going to happen. I mean, it's just, 
I, the only thing I can say is that like, it's, yeah, I'm just, I'm super bummed about it. And then it's, you know, right, uh, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Three titty women to- or three titty yeah. or big tittied? Three titty. You remember Total Recall? Oh yeah, they had the movie Total Recall. Yes, uh huh. Yeah, yeah. That that was on Mars, and that's what I'm saying. There's actually no three titty women on Mars. All right. There's the seduction of Mars. Now, when you seduced Mars, did you get laid? You didn't even get to the course. Now you were just oh, about to I get got, to the course. Oh, we're a minute. The whole, cha- the whole change is on here. Fifteen minute, minute fifteen. Space case heading up to space, race, car, oh, here car, on a car, chasing on a prima donna. Is that the chorus? Yeah, it's a whole to the second half of the song. The good part. <laughs> yeah. Do you have trouble coming up with lyrics? It doesn't sound like it. I don't. Uh, I do. I, something. I've been. You know what I do? I've been able to start just like seeing them. Like I don't. Know, I, I write write them in my notes on my iPhone. Yeah, I do that. It just for some reason it's way easier than I come up with shit way easier than when I write it by hand. Yeah, so that's that one. That's pretty much everything. On so right. so far, dude, we're two out of ten. I like that. I think it's good. I'll give it a plus one. Thanks, buddy. <clears throat> Me too. Is, is that one, is that... Now I'm looking on here, and there's three three of these songs have a star next to them. That means somebody fa- that means somebody favorited it. I guess. Oh, really? that, what does it mean on the Apple Music when there's a star next to it? Uh, you know what? I don't know. What is Oh, oh I see that too. Oh, you know what? Uh, I don't know. I see that on two of them. I've never seen that before. I've never even noticed that. It's on Neon. Um, it's, this thing is on Neon Flamingo Records. How'd you get a deal with those guys? That, I, that's, that's my record. Oh. <laughs> I made up. <laughs> but it, went the, first me, one, man. the first one was on Neon Flamingo, so I just made oh. the second one. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know what the star means. That's kind of trippy. You should have went with yeah. Neon Flamingo's big time hip hop label. Yeah. No, sorry. You know, I so played, deep fake. I played, well, I played a gig last week with the Plunkets. Well, I had, a, I had Butler's gig Friday, and then the next night I played with the Plunkets over in, in Alamo, or which is like a rich rich neighborhood uh-huh <clears throat> there was a house on the there was a house party right down the street from where we were playing snoop dog played a house party oh damn some guy did um according to patrico some guy was renewing his vows and he hired snoop dog to play at his house party wow you know how That's much you awesome. got you know how much you got paid snoop dog probably yeah. a million bucks seven hundred thousand dollars yeah, that's if I've been <laughs> Snoop Dogs for a day's work. Yeah, I mean, dude, Aerosmith does shit like that. I'm sure they get paid the same thing, right? When we saw them, at, remember we saw them at um, on Treasure Island at that fucking festival. Remember yeah. we got the free the passes and we worked our way in there. And uh-huh. uh, well, I can't remember what the convention's called now, but we saw them and we saw fucking Roger Daltrey there too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, they all do it. They all. That's I think that's what I think that's where the rock star's real bread and butter is, is doing private and corporate gigs. If only you could get one of those gigs for seven hundred thousand dollars, I bet you'd be back. Well, if I could get any, I would do anything for seven hundred thousand dollars, but a gig would be extra sweet. You'd be back with Natalie in no time. So that's right. <laughs> you better believe that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll do anything for seven hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Anything. About, so. Just about <laughs> <laughs> putting it out there to the, to the big donors. Yeah, I I'd probably donors, I would so. I, I'd probably not be homophobic for seven hundred thousand bucks. I'm I'm not homophobic to begin with, so <sighs> get your I'm pool not either. going. I'm not either, but you for somehow made the joke that I am, so I'm going to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're homophobic and racist, right? Isn't that your whole? Mm. Mo now, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. And, mm. and a COVID mm. denier too. COVID uh, denier, that's right. And yeah. you're like, um, you, you, you have like one of them "Don't Tread on Me" 
flags hanging outside your cabin up in the funny you say that i do have a 30 ounce tumbler that says don't tread on me (laughs) surprise me is now is don't is don't tread on me is that a racist um thing i don't think so i think it's just i think it's like an um it's i think it's just an i don't know is it it a QAnon thing no i don't know i I think it's like an I think it's an old saying from the sixties or something. I think it's like an anti government type uh, of I am anti government. Good. I mean so am I. I mean sometimes I am. I don't know what I am. I don't have any fucking like I'm just I I'm anti this the way this government works. I'm I'm pro government if they would do the things they should be doing, which is just like, you know, taking care like of the people. I don't like anybody some, telling me what to do. I don't like that either, and I don't think the government should be doing that at all. I, I think that the government should stick to building bridges and fucking, um, you know, some maybe maybe providing their people with like their citizens with health care and fucking, you know. So what did that? So the the Mitchell brothers closed down. Uh, yes. What happened to that? There's an arc for people who don't know. There's in I was upstairs painting at the Mitchell Brothers, and there's this pen and ink drawing by Robert Crumb on the wall. There's about five by five feet by five feet. That thing is priceless. What happened? Well, to that I heard thing? that um, I was I was ta- uh, I can't remember who I spoke to. It might have been Johnny Freebird actually. Um, oh, did he work? But there? anyways, I, I heard that yeah, he worked there. He's got to do the art for me, and I heard that. Um, one of the owners cut it out and took oh, it. Well, oh, good. That's good to hear. I don't think it, it didn't get left behind. They cut out that whole like section of it. <laughs> good. That's because it was through. Glad. There was also there was an R. Crumb drawing, <laughs> and then also like three, like an artist named Spain. There was like three drawings by him. They were all like the thing about those drawings. They were like you know the R. Crumb drawing was a five foot tall drawing. Yeah, you know, it wasn't thing just was like a awesome. little like sketch. It was like a, it was a yeah. It, it was cool. So it's probably in some somebody's garage. Somewhere. That's good. I mean, it's I'm probably, glad, yeah, I'm glad that thing like, didn't get torn down or painted over. Yeah. I drove by that place the couple, I don't know, a month or two ago. And um, it was it was crazy. It was all boarded up. But, like, the windows were smashed out up top. And it's oh, just like, man. It's, it's pretty, like. That place yeah, is a landmark. Uh, you, did every was, strip club in San Francisco shut down after the pandemic? I don't know. No, I don't believe so. But, um, yeah, I don't know that one. That one was like kind of, it was, they were trying to sell it before, it, uh, you know, I don't know what, what I'm supposed to talk about and I'll talk about it. Well, they were trying to sell it before the pandemic and the pandemic kind of like the building got sold. So someone actually just bought the building and they were trying to like work out a new lease or something like that right before the pandemic happened. I think they, I think they closed in like November of 2019. And then we're like, and bought it for like a, you know, however much they bought it for. And I think that what I had heard, you know, I don't know, I wasn't privy to any of that kind of stuff. But what I had heard was that the people that bought it were like a development group, you know, an investment group. And they owned the music hall and they owned like the motel behind and they owned another building on O'Farrell Street. And I think they were trying to like kind of buy up the whole area. And then I think they were trying to like, there was something where they were going to like, they got a certain type of loan and they were going to flip it around and turn it into some other, I don't know. I don't know how that, I have no nothing about real estate or <laughs> bought it for an investment. corporate. They bought it for a, an investment at a large price thinking that like, they, you know what I mean? They had like this sort of like guaranteed rent in the bag or whatever. And then, you know, as the pandemic happened and all that didn't get worked out. And aside now, I think, I don't know what, I don't mean, I think it's still for sale. Actually. I think if you Google it, it might be for sale currently. And I think it sold for, I mean, that's all like, you know, it's a big building in San Francisco, but I think it sold, I think they want like $11 million for it or something crazy. And, um, well, it's too yeah, bad. It's that just, place was, it's a sad landmark. to see it like, you know, it's still, yeah, and it's still there with all the same mural on the side of the wall, you know, but the mural's just like covered in graffiti now. And, yeah. you know, the windows are smashed and the front door is boarded up and, um, and there's shit know, outside the front door and piss and tents. And... Yeah, yeah, the whole neighborhood's like pretty gross. But um, yeah, oh, it's yeah, it's, on, it's for sale right now for twelve million dollars. All right, so. next song, Deep Fake. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, this is a good. This, I feel like this is a comedic masterpiece right here. This okay. is one of my two funniest songs. This is the uh, opus. 
This is this is probably the longest song on the album. Well, it's not. Yeah, it's one three minutes and thirty nine seconds. Well, you got a six minute and forty one second one on here too. That one was like that one. I have, I have five other rappers on it. That one, I'll tell you the story. We'll get there. But I would just that one was like a, a, a an experiment. Deep fake life on Earth. What is so you went so the the blasted off. And then uh-huh. you made it to Mars, and then now you're um, re- reminiscing about life on Earth, or did you, or did the ship I go back so. to I, Earth? It, you know, the ship's it's not the ship is it's more just like the concept being just each song is a different planet. I, it, I I'm not actually I don't know I'm I don't I didn't think of it through that far. So it's not a journey. The space it's not a space journey. And it's, it's a very light space journey, you know. It's just it's sort of it's the journey through the solar system, bouncing well, all over the place. But there's no tra- there's no other travel involved. For the sake of making the, it the sound like a wealth, off. for the make of sa- yeah. So yeah, so I went to Mars and I like went back to like seduce. I went to go try to repopulate the, the mankind uh, on Mars, and then while I'm now, out and back in my ship, I'm reminiscing about life. On yes, Earth. yes, you're missing Earth. You're missing your wife. Missing, Missing wife, missing the family, the yeah, whole deal. Exactly. That's that's much so, better. See, you should okay. have me with you on this concept here. And it's got a star next to it. <clears throat> I don't know what that means. Um, that's I never noticed that until you said that. Motherfucker. I did. That's why I got the E. It's Thursday night going back to back. Thanks, baby girl. So sorry that you got played redemption time. Yeah, it's on my mind. Cause Conky Tonk don't want to catch no shade. Don't be spreading no rumors about a hip hop groomer that popped too fast. Can we prove it to be fake? Who was that guy? I catch him outside. Slap three times and set his ass straight. you going to love it when you come in like a flood and you be moaned. Oh, he's an imitator. He's a Casey imitator, huh? That's right. It's a deep so Slide it. Inside all night, it I'll break you off. No, won't be quick. Cause Conky Tonk gonna oh shit, oh shit. That wasn't me that came too quick. That was a deep fake. Some perpetrating imitation to punk chomp that stole my face. That wasn't me that came too quick. The hook of the song is oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, the coming <laughs> too quick. To chomp that stole my or the face. guy was a deep fake. Too quick. That was a deep fake. Some perpetrating imitation to punk chomp that stole my face. Wasn't me that came too quick. That was a deep fake. Some perpetrating imitation. Yeah, that wasn't you like premature ejaculating. That was a guy imitating. Yeah, it was a deep fake. Yeah. You know what a deep fake is, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's all it was. All right, there's deep fake. I like that one. I'll give that one a plus mm-hmm. one. All right. I like so it. far, we're well, I give it a plus. Three. I give it a plus one too. That's right. So the next one, <laughs> Venus drops. Venus drops. This is like this would be my tender jam. Ooh, this is my the ballad. Uh, this is this is the ballad. This is probably the close. This was although I wrote this when I was still with Natalie, but it was. I think I wrote it when I was sleeping downstairs. So it's a little bit Ooh. of a heartbreak song. Oh, she but made, I, she decided she made listen, we can't sleep in the same bed anymore. You're gonna have to sleep downstairs. I was just I was taking some space downstairs, but uh this So one, why was uh, she disgusted by the thought of you in the bed or did you snore? <laughs> Probably disgusted. Uh, <laughs> I just can't stand to look at you anymore. Go downstairs and sleep. 
Listen, I put some weight on. My belly was getting a little out oh, of control. Really? Listen, your That's belly not. is disgusting me. <laughs> Go downstairs. Boy. No, that's... she didn't. There wasn't anything like that. We just, we just, you know, we were just not These in a happy fl- place. These yeah. women are. So you crawled downstairs no, 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 like a little not... puppy dog. It's not like, it's not like these, it's not, we just, we agreed to take some space. So See, I was, I, I admire you. In my room. I admire you for taking the high road on this because I would not what take the high road. Huh? Are you, you are you pissing right now? I am sorry. <laughs> Is it coming through? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There's oh, your Easter head, egg, friends. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> you know, it's sometimes right. there's an e- sometimes if I'm inter- if I have an interview on the show, I have there's an Easter egg. I call it an Easter egg when I have to pee in a cup because I don't want to um, say, "Hold on, interviewee, I got to use the bathroom." So I pee in a cup, sure. and some sometimes yeah. a listener can um, tell when I there's an Easter egg because they can. Yeah, I was just doing I'm doing a gold fashioned piss into the toilet, but uh... <laughs> yeah. See, I wouldn't take the high road. I would be. I already told you this, but I'd be grudge fucking my way through the state of California. Yeah, you know, I'm not doing that. I'm just, I'm not, uh, you know. You're a bigger man than me, Casey Crenshaw. Well, I know that, but, um, (laughs) (laughs) and then in multiple ways. I would wear my heart uh, on my sleeve and I would be. (laughs) Well, that's not wearing your heart on your sleeve. You know what I mean? Like, the thing of it is, is that, like, you know, that girl, like, you know, she changed my life and I fucking loved her more than I've ever loved another person in my entire existence. And I probably always will. And she's like my kid's mom. And, uh, you know, like, I don't, it, I'm not. All right. I'm not, all right. All right. I'm, I'm, all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I don't hate her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Next I song. Don't hate her. Did we already play Venus? We did not play Venus drops. Yet. No, no. Okay. This one's a sweet sample at the end. Missing Natalie. A- Venus Drops, a.k.a. Missing Natalie. Thank I'm you. sleeping Thank downstairs you. in my bedroom. <laughs> She's disgusted by my big belly. <laughs> you stink! Venus <laughs> Drops. <laughs> Feeling bad about myself because my bitch threw me out. Oh, That's, me rap- <laughs> That's me rapping over <laughs> Casey's yeah, tune. Um, yes, it is. <laughs> You hear that Schechter bass in there? I can't get it up because I'm feeling bad about myself. Tick tock, check the clock, collecting Venus drops. Pink hearts, yellow moon. Oh, this is the ballad, huh? Next stop, wide yeah, eyes, make the ballad good. Pop. Silver boots, golden thighs, dripping Venus drops. Tick tock, check the clock, collecting Venus drops. Pink hearts, yellow moon in the tabletop. Next stop, wide eyed, make the denim pop. Silver boots, golden thighs, dripping Venus drops. Let me drops. ask you something. Damn. Girl, Let me ask you yeah. something. When, when you were thrown out of the room and had to go downstairs and sleep in the bedroom, did you uh, unwind down in that bedroom by yourself? <laughs> yeah, you did. Of course, of course. Um, I didn't get. Then I didn't get thrown out. What are you doing? Smoking pot right now? <laughs> I was having a little. I did have a little toke. No, maybe I'll join you. Let me go and get me find my. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll toke. Let me join you in the toke. Hold on. Yeah. By the way, I need some more of that. that. Casey gave me this pot for Christmas last year, and I just ran out. I really like that pot that you had that you grew. Do you have any more of that? Well, I didn't grow any this time around um, this year. Obviously, oh, I have a right. little, tiny the bit left. Woman took your grow. I didn't have a home <laughs> to grow. Uh, she got I, the I grow. Have... You should. You get a rap a rap <laughs> song called "She Got the Grow." Maybe that'll be your song. <laughs> we'll work on it. She got the grow. Bitch threw me downstairs. She got the grow. All right. No, no, no. <laughs> she got the grow. <laughs> All right. It's weird. It's cool. Long time since I tried. Old nines, it used to work every time. Took for granted you always be by my side. Staring at an empty chair. Clutching I hope on- Natalie's not listening to this. She's going to hate my guts. <laughs> You're right about that. <laughs> Come on, Natalie. I'm just kidding, man. I'm trying to show solidarity to my good friend Casey. 
Yeah, I'm not saying name. anything bad about Natalie, by the way. No, I know you haven't. And I'm sure she'll be mad, and she's probably not listening. Yeah, she listens to bullshit. I don't think anybody's listening to this bullshit. I'm probably going to lose 10 more uh, donors after this. <laughs> I know, I'm coughing. You're really rolling the dice. By the way, here. friends, stop <laughs> donating. This show will die. A horrible putrid stench from <laughs> death. It's dying one already. No courage. This is the this is the jump the shark episode. This is the sh the day the show died. <coughs> wow, I forgot kind of about that. When made my own demise, longing for your juicy paros and in derriere. Warp back to the past and go inside. Commandeer from the fear, drinks the lie. Say yes to the one who breathes alive. Nothing ever. Listening back to this to song, does it remind you of sleeping downstairs? No. No, okay. Good. Got me going to no. See so you wrote this when you were downstairs sleeping in the bedroom? I think I just wrote, yeah, I mean, we were just, it was like about a couple years ago, we were like having a fight or a hard time or something, and I thought like maybe I was just kind of like wondering what it would be like if we were separated, you know, what would actually happen? How would I be feeling? It was sort of a projection. We weren't broken up at the time, um, and we weren't broken up, you know, for a while after the, when I wrote that song. By the but, way, uh, for what it's worth, <clears throat> most of my time is spent sleeping on the floor in the dog bed, <laughs> so yeah, I can relate. I mean, look, it's just it's, these things happen. Yeah. <sighs> Thirty-two years of living with a guy. Uh, <laughs> Now, who's that? Who's that female singing right there? That's a Nancy Sinatra uh, ah, sample. 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 Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Used without used, used with permission, of course. Of course, that would just be of wrong course. to use it without permission. That would be wrong. And maybe like Lee Lee Hazelwood or something. Is that a person? Wow, that song bummed me out, man. Good, thanks. It made me sad. All right, good. Well, that's that was a tear that's drum. what it was supposed to do. Yeah, it was, it was like I said, it was a sensitive song. Mercury in retrograde, featuring Tectonic. That's now, so that's, who named you know him? Did, who? He, did he name himself, or did you name? He him? named himself. He wrote this verse. Huh. Uh, he like did it, and he did. He did in two takes. We did one take, and then he tried it again, and this pretty much we kept it all. I did a little oh. bit of editing on it, but it's pretty much it's all him. His 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 uh, brain is faster than his mouth, but he's got like hard conviction and um, yeah, dedication. He's a natural. Killer, he, I got to tell you, man, he I, is a natural. I really love that. that. I love that kid, man. I really. He's do. amazing. He's the, one of the most special people i've ever met in my life he he's, is a man, fucking incredible he, that kid is i love everything about sonny thanks man me too he's really good and he's gonna um yeah he's he's got like all the characteristics to be like he's a, a rock star killer performer yeah he, he is a rock star he's you know what i mean fearless. he's already like <clears throat> do you know he got um he did this little punk rock summer camp at the Phoenix i saw Theater. it i saw it it was great oh yeah yeah well he got like um the owner of the Phoenix who like has been around since I was in high school. So he kind of remembered me and he's like, Sonny is like a legacy kid. He gets a gig here anytime he wants. He's like, he's a great drummer, but you got to show him old AFI videos and get him to be a front man. Cause he will be like an amazing front man. And then like, he like later that week, he went to a, a show there with uh, his mom and saw our friend's band play. And Sonny got like introduced to the band, you know, like Tom, the owner of the Phoenix, like, hey, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, I got a special friend here who's going to introduce the band for us. Everyone give it up. This is Sonny Seeger. And then Sonny came out and then, uh, yeah, introduced the band and got like his first like stage dive. So there's like a picture <laughs> of him, like, you know, crowd surfing. That's and uh, he was up on stage rocking out. Yeah, dude. And he's, I mean, he's been doing it with us. I mean, you've been on stage with Sonny, you know what I mean? Like it's, he's been doing it since he was in the belly. Yes, he, so he, is, he is great. He, I love that guy. Is, dude. Yeah, he's awesome. All right. Tectonic, Mercury, Mercury and Retrograde featuring. Yeah, so this song's about. This is a theme song. This is about. Uh, you know what a snag is? It's a sensitive new age guy. No, I did not know that. <laughs> okay, I, so I, I'd never heard that term, and my friend uh, Arwen told me about it, and I thought it was hilarious because it's like you know you can kind of picture the whole. 
like it, like think of just kind of your average like Marin, like kind of new age hippie type dude. Yeah. So that's that's what that that's what the song ended up being. There's about. a character on uh, the Phil Hendry show. You know, you know who Phil Hendry is. I do. I've never listened to him. I know who he is. Dean Wheeler is a sensitive new age guy. He runs a holistic institute in Marin County. Exactly. <laughs> But they kind of use it as like an angle. They, but they're not really. They're kind of just like pervy, yeah. also, right? Yeah, to get use it an angle yeah. to pick up chicks. Exactly. Mercury's in retrograde. Mercury's in retrograde. Today, no, no, cause Mercury's in retrograde. So sorry to say, but I got to blame that Mercury's in retrograde. Is this the single? I think this is the single, isn't it? This is this is the first single that came out, yeah. For another day, cause Mercury's in retrograde. So snag the hemp bag, hanging off a hundred dollar captain. What's that? Burger stocks in a linen pan? Gives a help a hippie hill while you do a static dance. Probably keep a hacky sack in the back of the bag with the pack of the zags for your homegrown swag man bun in the back of the But you're Ricky, little Ricky, but you never gotta own it Cause you know it's just so easy You can choose your careful words, but they still sound as sleazy You can earn a trust to girls, then show them that you're skeezy Claiming you divine, but at the same time Toss a bitch in the ditch, call her crazy before she snitch Life of the snag, no, there ain't no shaming You can do the blaming when Mercury retrograde Ain't gonna happen today, no, no Cause Mercury's in retrograde So sorry to say, but I got the blame Next verse coming up, Tectonic Yeah, there's a little breakdown And then the next verse Just about to implement some change Tectonic deserves a play. Ladies and gentlemen, Tectonic! Oh, no, sorry, it's after the breakdown here. Sorry, bro, I gave you a false, uh, gave you a false positive. Yeah, I didn't talk up the post right. Yeah. He's coming in after this. the end of the song there it huh? fades out. i said that's the end of the song it fades out from there uh yeah <clears throat> tectonic is sick and he's uh, we, he did some photo shoots with me and he's really excited about it he's really excited to like have a his, himself be on spotify yeah so that was like a pretty big deal to he him he tell uh, all his friends in school hey i'm on spotify mercury and retrograde i'm tectonic exactly the exactly. ladies go really he's probably got yeah. chicks all over him He's, I think he's, I think he's pretty, I think he's probably pretty popular. Yeah. Yes. As far as like, I mean, he doesn't, you know, he's a little bit shy about it. So he doesn't like, I'm like, oh, you, know, gotta, you know, you try to figure out who's got a crush on who you can't really hear. You hear about some of the other kids and who their crushes are, but I don't know. What grade's he in now? Fourth grade. Wow, man. He's going to be in junior high school before you know it. Yeah. He goes to a K through eight. Uh, <laughs> so he'll be at the same school for a while, but. Um, but yeah, it's crazy. It's coming around the corner. Next song, conquering Uranus. So both, so one. <laughs> oh, oh, we're so, still we're at a perfect oh. plus five right now. Let's yeah, see. that was. I give that one okay. a definite big plus, big big plus one. Big big plus one. You'll give this one. A, you'll give conquering Uranus a big plus well, one. This, so this has one a star just, next to it. Conquering Uranus does it doesn't on mine. It does on mine. Uh, uh, well, it's a minute long of uh, this this might be my this might be my greatest song on the record. I don't know. This one's pretty good. <laughs> Conquering Uranus. That's right. <laughs> <coughs> Have you ever uh, okay, I'm not gonna ask that. Ah. 
I can say I've never conquered uh, Uranus in my marriage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Conquering Uranus. Conquering Uranus. <laughs> Conquering Uranus. I love it. Conquering Uranus. I knew you would. Conquering Uranus. Conquering Uranus. Perv as perv as perv can be. Conquering yeah. Uranus. <laughs> I hope this all the lyrics is this. <laughs> I hope there's no verses. I hope this is the, well, the entire a little, a Conquering like Uranus. This quick one. Conquering Uranus. <laughs> the greatness is the greatest. Don't know how else I can say it, but the curvature is perfect. Or you know it should be famous. And I love to land my rocket on the surface by the crater. And I take my time when I explore thorough investigator. When I study on Uranus, I dive in like great Luganus. Stacy Slater made it famous, and that smell it is contagious. Open altar wild heart, you know that smell. I gotta think of everything that rhymes with anus. It's <laughs> outrageous, and I always stay for longer because Uranus is my favorite. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I, I wish I could have done some background. I wish I could have done some rhyming on this album. You got well, to you you have me on the third one, man. All right, I will. I didn't know you had an interest Conquering in it. You just got to, you got to, you got to, yeah, you just got to be serious. Yeah. I and mean, you can be silly, but you got to, you just got to do it with commitment. I you can be ridiculous. One, I give that one a huge plus one. <laughs> Well, thank you. I, I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. I'll one. give that one a. Well, how well, how should I say it? I'll give that and, one a. You know, you know what? Not only is I'll it give hard that to one rhyme, a gaping plus one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know, it's hard to rhyme Uranus, and I worked in a Greg <laughs> a Greg Luganus. Greg reference. Luganus, that was great. Yeah. He said, "I'm heinous. <laughs> I, I, I want to be famous. Uh, go strain us." Uh, I, it was hard getting in. I had to strain us. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big pain. Us. <laughs> All right. I give that one a plus It's not one. a song. It's not a song about anal sex. <laughs> no, I know that. I know that. <laughs> no. It's about a planet, Uranus. <laughs> All right. Next song. So you left Uranus. You conquered Uranus. Now you're flying onto the next planet through the Milky Way. I'm just going through the Milky Way right now. Into the Milky Way interlude. This is this would have been side two. I did not. That, that was used with permission as well. Oh what? Oh is that it? What is that a sample of? That's from Pee Wee's Playhouse. Ah, and, and that oh yeah, is, that's right. Used that's with, cherry. Yeah. Oh that's Conky. That's, that's Conky. Yeah. He's I, got a fucking robot named Conky 2000. Yeah. It worked out perfect. I like it. I'm gonna go grab a beer while this is playing. Ready to assist you. That was kind of an interlude into the next song. So that one doesn't yeah, really... Yeah, it, it, it would have been... If it was on vinyl, that would have been the start of side two. Yeah, exactly. It's Blast yeah. Off part two. Yeah, it's, it's nothing. It's just a quick little... Um, so this one, is the next one, is like sort of the space sequel to my uh, my debut album, Pimpin', Pimpin on a Pogo yeah. Ball, if you remember. This is... Right, so these are the same guys that were on that song. Celsius Seven, um, Crimson Mask, and the Rose. The Rose is yeah. uh, is uh, she shoot sh she shoot <laughs> she shoot who shall not be named. Sure, <laughs> it's the Rose. But yes, and it's I use this I use the same her I reuse her vocal from the original. Uh, 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 now, did you re did you reuse both of these guys' vocals too, or did they come in for a new? No, track? these are new verses. These are all new verses. It, like everything's new. It's just it, uh, um, it's like new music. Did new... they come into the studio to do their tracks, or they send them to you? All over email. Nobody kept. But I think one guy came to my house and recorded a verse, but wow. everything else that has anyone on here, well, Sonny did wow. his with me too. Are they scared of COVID? 
Uh, no, I mean, I think it's just people are just, they do it when they have time or when they, you know what I mean? They can just email it, you know, they, no one's good. Like a Celsius seven lives in Alameda. He wasn't gonna make a special trip for fucking 45 seconds of music. You know what I mean? Like, all right. This one also has a star <clears throat> next to it. Saturn cool. is a pogo ball. It does look like a pogo ball. <clears throat> exactly. Blinking it, just a little bit of spazzy, and I see what you're thinking. It's time to drop into the beat and hit the mic and get the freaking. When I was just a kid, I bit a lip on my first kiss. Tried to slip the tongue, but I was licking her braces. Went to turn and run, then I stumbled and almost tripped. Grabbed the pogo ball, popped up, and it go like this. Tongue to the tongue with the bounce of the ounce, out of rings of the feet while the whole planet shouts. Got a feel for the street while we jump to the beat, and the planet's quaking. Can't stop shaking. Skip to the hop, cause the party don't. Stop, poker ball got the bounce and the beats got drops out of rings on the beat while we jump in the street and the plane is quaking. Can't stop so shaking. Who's your main rap influences? Um, who do you get your I, in, Casey, uh, MC Conky Tonk? Uh, where do you get your inspiration? Um, uh, for like beat production, like I get like, a, like who are the really who like are the MCs that that inspire the Conky Tonk? Well, probably one of my favorite. Like I love like Easy E. <laughs> Easy. You know who Easy is? You remember Easy? Oh yeah, died of AIDS. You remember like, yeah, that's right. You remember Ice T? You know Ice T, right? Did oh, you meet yeah. Ice T or oh, play yeah. with Ice T? We go way back. Me and the Ice Man go way back. Well, you guys, you played with the Body Count, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Toured with, yeah, him. yeah. So you know Snoop Dogg. Like I would have gone to that. Al- I wish I got invited to your Alamo Snoop Dogg party. <laughs> Uh, that the Plunkets played at. We didn't play at the Alamo Snoop, Snoop Dogg. We played down the street. <laughs> oh, you played next door. Yeah. You were the you were the house of nobody. We nobody played we played at the Italian restaurant down the street. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sweet. All right, you got, pale, you got paid in the old Parmesan. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's get back to the. Uh, I was doing a, a inside the rapper studio. Gotcha. That was the take all. That was a spoof. <laughs> For all the people who need me to tell them the punchline. Okay, Apollonia gave me bonus. Is this Celsius 7? That's right. Prince with the dead cold case. Prince with the ace to the base case. He, he sounds black. Um, He's a white guy. Oh. Chase. Now I'm slumping, booty bumping, make that onion, punch the munchkin, beats on bars, the life on Mars. Oh, we know me, baby, blow me, cross the cosmos, cause a pop most, swole on the roll, oh, soul pop those, PC, we see LSDZ, dipping my shit full thrust, oh, she watch the sky go gray in the red, there's a crimson now, I'm twisting new clay, the bending the building, no, this the is still so seven. The building, oh. the oh. I am electric, my words, ones and zeros, I post through the fiber and transmit my body. Everyone does a single, like a double time. The people, this is the force that will keep us alive. Where the rings are blow rainbow. Is that still Celsius 7? Yeah. Okay. Crimson Mask is after the chorus. Okay. Bone beams and old snow. Ah. Oh, there's the ah. Yeah. The oscillating rings like a record spinning signal. That's Crimson Mask. The Crimson Master after this, this is the chorus. Did they call me Crimson Mask? Did they call me Gas Giant? Am I wrecking cars while eating chili? Call it. Crimson Mask is black, though, right? You know Crimson Mask. I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I still. You remember my buddy Keegan? Oh yeah, I like him. Crimson. Yeah, Ma- yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Crimson Mask. Yeah, he's black. Irish. <laughs> 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 
Gravity chain Logato magnetic strip It's like a normal 6 inch But with a prosthetic tip And when that ass gets the saddle Take a look at flat earth It's like a glass coffee table Covered in turd The thing about today is Alien ladies making a baby Saturn Extraterrestrial superpower testicle Passing in a step of all If Saturn is a Pokemon Fill it with the oxygen People cannot breathe with the helium and hydrogen Don't just sit around like you don't give a care Come on, call and give these people air I didn't hear the rose. That's her saying bounce to him. She was just saying bounce. Oh. Okay. Bounce. Okay. I give that one a strong half. All right. Strong half. Yeah. All right. Net until you left Saturn. The next stop, Neptune. Got the boom. This is like a, my underwater adventure here because, you know, oh. Neptune's the water planet. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> this one I think is pretty sweet. I, I like this one. I don't know if it's the one that goes over with most people, but I like this one. I like the beat and I like the way that I kind of laid it out and I like the little story I'm telling. All right. The water planet. Sure. Look at the mermaid strip, bitch. Yeah. Look at the mermaid. <laughs> Topless. Look at the mermaid. See, that would have been me rapping. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's why you're not on the album. <laughs> Look at the mermaid. Take it all off. <laughs> MC Pervy Top. Okay. That's right. MC Rape Man. <laughs> what? That's not me. <laughs> that could be your name. That's MC. by the way. That's 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 me ad libbing. Yeah. That's not Casey's. That's not MC Conky Tonk on on no, that. Yeah, that's yes. <laughs> I think people will know that. Good, thank you. Trident at my side through the frigid waters that I glide. Hold my breath to the depths while these gills grow visible. Approaching from the west side, inner crevice of the trench. Hide behind the coral, watching jellyfish women do belly dance with precision. Mermaiden smirks, fading like a fresh prince, smacking in the name of Jada. No, she ain't my first girly with skin color green. Ain't no need for a gummer, her teeth is baleen. Well, yours is pretty misogynistic itself, friend. <laughs> my? What are you talking about? Ain't no need for a gummer. Her teeth is baleen. It's a fucking uh-huh. fish woman. Uh-huh. She's got baleen teeth. You're getting a blowjob from her. You're. you're... <laughs> What's wrong with you getting a blowjob? Robot mode. The freak is in control. Spout geysers like Triton, and I can't get a hold of the cold. Because I'm old, but I'm showing how bold. Deep space planet ain't some safe furthest from the great fire. Stuck my in the dick in a sea anemone. Ends up a galaxy. So far and wide, epic. You're talking about How did you just stuck my dick in a sea anemone? I took a That's left the turn, verse. and the bitch gave me an enemy. Oh, okay. I saw a fast face with the case base when he's swimming to my sea space. An enemy becomes. She got a face like a link card. Right. <laughs> my enemy because I always see an opportunity to poke him with my finger, make him quiver, watch him shrink into the reef. With my dorsal fin popping 10 inches, in fact, uh-huh. my mermaid in weight lay topless flat on her back. She got the good to go on. Blowhole is so tight like a warm uh-huh. summer breeze. Not sexist on a cold at all. Why is that sexist? No, not sexist. That's a good one. That was one for the ladies. Sing it. It's like. It's my old fantasy a, song. I'm giving that one a plus one. I like that one. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and it's not uh, that's a little, little good old old fashioned it's not, misogyny. It's not it's not sexist or it's no, not at all. That's just, not that's at just, all. Stuck my finger in a blowhole. No, not at all. It's great. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're making it sound like a terrible thing, and it's not. It's not terrible at all. I'm I'm down with the misogyny. Well, you, you know do. Me, you, you, you know me. I'm a, you know me. I got a um, don't tread on me glass. <laughs> all right. So we, oh, so this is my political song right, coming up next. Oh, good. So we did a little woman hating on Neptune. <laughs> this 
not woman hating. It's women now, loving. Now it's we're gonna in pursuit of women. Now we're gonna do a little insurrection on Jupiter. I like I like the now that what is that? Are you playing the xylophone there? It's a bass and like a little synth with like a, some sort of effect. It's like a, I think it's like a Chinese wood uh, flute, wood so flute you, or something like did that. Did you take out the keyboard and like twiddle the tinkle, tinkle the ivories? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I've got like a MIDI controller oh, keyboard. Oh, okay. I've got a, I've got I've got like a whole I've got a whole recording set up here. You know? Okay. Where are we going to record the uh, secret project in in the studio or at your house or at grandma's, uh, well, at your can... grandma's house? Well, we can do it probably at um, we can do it at, at Strawberry Hill, or we can do it. Um, I've been working at a, I'm getting in my foot in the door in this nice studio in Petaluma, uh, or we can do it at the house. Yeah, we're, we'll figure that out. We could probably Raj's would be a good place because it's in the middle okay. <laughs> for you uh, and me. All right, sounds good. Featuring seventh, not, oh, featuring seventh Samurai. Who's Seventh Samurai? That is an old singer of mine from a band I was in called The Invalids. Oh, is, he and, uh, is he black? No, no he's not. He's oh, uh, half. Sure. He's he's Chinese and white. So why don't you have any black guys on this? Are you are you racist? No, I just well, I just told you he's Chinese. Oh, but uh, I I don't know. I, I guess I don't know any black guys. I think you should uh, think about that. I mean, I'm thinking about. I mean, I, I'll think about it. I don't know any. I don't know any black rappers. I don't. Hmm, I, know, I know like I know like four guys that rap. Jupiter, <laughs> <laughs> they're all on the oh shit! Time to make the jump to Jupiter, right by your disease. Oh, so the flat earther. Oh shit! Time to make the jump to Jupiter. I'm scanning all the feeds, seems that people get stupider. Oh shit! Time to make the jump to Jupiter, right by your disease. Oh, so the flat earther. Oh shit! Time to make they want to get in the fight for the right of the right Not to have to wear a mask unless they lynch you in the yeah. night Yeah, Andy all the Vaxxer the folk who think they woke Why you censor everybody and you poke and oh. provoke Oh, you're talking about the Andy Vaxxers I got See, I got woke up. Those, Talking about both You're talking about those talking people about who, Those evil people who don't like wearing masks From the American dream I'm Ain't also no talking about events. the woke people Ain't no motherfucking porch swing I got woke to find a world I don't know Surviving on Facebook likes online strife is straight <laughs> out of control you got a cause don't know what the fuck i like this means. one delusions of revolution being led by a meme you see i ain't got the tools for a herd mentality not inspired by pander of a digital reality i fail to i'm following a cue when i see the world around me don't know what the fuck to do get the coordinates enter in computer sayonara motherfucker i'm jumping I out unfriended you motherfucker <laughs> Yeah, we're fed up with these assholes on Earth. Time to jump to Jupiter. I get That's it. right. Yeah, that's true. This is the angry one. This is your angry song. This is seven, this is seven Samurai. To Jupiter. See, I'm singing along. There you go. There's a hook. You got to admit, they're all good. I got a that lot of good hooks on this. That was a catchy rap. I like that. That's a big plus one for me. 
Thanks, Michael Bowen. <laughs> last song. Now, this last song. We're so at this a, we're one at, I did. We're at a um, nine and a half out of ten right now. That's 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 good stuff. Pretty I like strong. that. So this um, last one, I Pluto Posse in effect, featuring like a, Ill Bug. Yeah, Ill Bug. Who's Ill Bug? That's my buddy Mike. Hmm. My guy I went I've known since high school. Good friend of mine. Is he black? He lives down San Diego. He lives down San Diego. He's not. He's not black. He's not. I Celsius, think he's uh, Celsius think Seven he's, makes a re, re return. <clears throat> Crimson Mask. Who's Belief? Belief is another buddy of mine from here from Santa Rosa that was on been on some of Cel- or some of Crimson Mask's albums, and I've always liked his verses, and so I reached out to him and asked if he would do a verse for me. Is he another white dude? Yes. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Seventh Samurai makes a return. To this one too. Yeah, and so what I did with this song was it was kind of cool. Was I got I wanted to get like as many different guys as I could yeah. on the song. Uh-huh. And then, um, but what I did was I didn't give any of them like any sort of reference other than the beat. And I didn't like have the beat like production all done yet. I just had the simple like loop going and I didn't give them any vocal references from me and I didn't hear any of their vocal references. So I recorded my verse and then they, they just all emailed in their verses. And then I like the have once I had all six verses, I, tried to assemble it together in a fluid way. So it's sort of like a, it feels like a production milestone so for you, me or something. Cause I think give, it came together pretty good. But you gave them the beats to rap over. I gave them the beat to rap over and then they sent me the vocals and then I would cut up their vocals and put it like the, everyone sent it was on the first like eight bars of the beat. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. So everyone did the first verse on their, uh-huh. on the recording I sent them. And then I had to like put them all in place. So I had to assemble the song and it wasn't just like a linear so this here's, is, my, here's my verse here's your verse you know what is, i mean it was like a. this is casey's what? production uh milestone mm-hmm. there you you're, go yeah. this is I, your, I like i'm uh, proud of this I'm proud of the way this one came out you're kind of like um um like dr mutt lang you're kind of like mutt lang on this one I'm, i am like yes um yes exactly. you're kind of well, back to, you're kind of like cross you know between I, mutt lang dr dre and um Rick Rubin. That's right. <laughs> so now you're talking. Mutt Drubin. Mutt Drubin. <laughs> All right. All right. Pluto Posse in effect. Featuring Illbug, Census 7, Crypsis Mask, Bee Leaf, and Seven Samurai coming at you on the rock and roll, the hip hop geek show. <laughs> 1077, The Bone. That's Conky Tonk right there, right? That's me, yeah. Okay. Blowing tang on my nose, hydrate with sailing, and I will walk my way through the red snow. Best call Pluto, little planet. They say dwarf is an insult. You want a showdown, don't you know? Conky Tonk will drop a mic like Dalton, giving out a heave ho. This is the ill bug here. Comes the bug. This is something that you never felt. Like gold is a dwarf landed in the Kyber belt. Just to bring a body beyond the orbit of the Hey, Michael. Yes. I just thought of something. Um, I, was, I should have. I'm peeing again, actually. But um, <laughs> you mentioned Rick Rubin. I actually, on this verse here, I was listening to this Slayer song um, off of Seasons of the Abyss, and he does this production trick 
where he's got like kind of a it's not quite a delay it's like the verse is like in two different places and he's got one tucked away like and panned hard to one channel uh -huh. and so that's what i'm doing on ill bugs verse you can hear there's like if you listen on headphones or you can kind of just listen you'll hear his um you'll hear like his main vocal and then there's like a little echo kind of chase vocal happening uh -huh. that i actually got the idea from rick rubin uh, well there you go and listening to Slayer, to see how Slayer contributes to rap. The night, planet from the sun is cold, and hella cold. Orbit of period 248 years old. So hold on to your hats and garments, cause darn it, I'm not done yet. Night, planet from the sun, I've only just begun, young gun. If Pluto was a dog, then what was good was good to stand by me. And it will explain the unattainable 3.6 billion miles. Now who's doing the that's just like a sample I found of Goofy. No, oh. because he's talking Disney? about Goofy. Oh, Disney. I know. No, it must have been very Disney. difficult getting the rights from Disney. That must have took some negotiating. You know, I got people in high uh, high places. Know, Neon, Flam Neon, Neon Flamingo. I am on. I am on Neon Flamingo. If you remember. Uh, oh, that's true. That's true. They probably pulled some strings. Exactly. <laughs> Sun, you know, it has an atmosphere composed of mostly nitrogen, carbon monoxide, and methane. Insane. I don't know why this blew your brain. <laughs> you thought this would mean to spit and rap again. Hey, yo, magic is. I like the. Yeah, that's like my showdown guitar riff. Oh, did you lay down a guitar track? Oh yeah, I'm playing like a lot of. I'm any like thing that sounds like guitar is me playing it. Huh. The only thing that sounds like bass is me playing it. Huh. I'm, I'm playing everything. Good, so pay attention. If Pluto is the planet, the next dimension. At pro pros and throw pros, I dance slick on my toes. I stay woke, no no doze on. <laughs> Like popos, they lie so much, nose grows. I can't stand them. We vandals with candles, we'll march, crush they castles. I seek truth just to share the truth. No Clark Kent, no Bumba Booth. I am what I am, floating sand, then we gone. Dynamic in flow state, give self love. No, don't wait on full thrust, no pro rate, cause I know my soul rate. Exotis, catharsis, escape from these tarpets. Return and relearn on your mind, magic carpet. You have a deeper knowing. I have a nobler self. The energy is growing. A mission to find self on Pluto. Pluto. Now, did you just go boom, down, down, one time, and then you just cut and paste it throughout the song? Yeah, I just get, I get like a good take of it, and I just loop yeah, it. Okay. Did you piece this all together in logic? Yeah. In embarrassing turn of events. I can see how you got that Napoleon complex. Now I understand why they took it to the cleaner. Just a planet with a tiny little wiener. Right, I got stripped. Gank your shit. But I did on this album. I did logic, Soul Tools, and Ableton. I used three different DAWs. Why is that? Because uh, I was learning, it's kind of started on Ableton was kind of where I was getting some of the tones and then I just wanted to, and then I had some on Logic, so I just figured like, well, I'll have to do one of, every, just to experiment and see how they all, you know, how they sounded. Okay. See if there's a difference or anything, or if they inspired different, different dolls. Sometimes they just have built in different effects. Like so they, call it a, the they call it a doll, huh? The DAW, like a digital audio workstation. Yeah, D A W, the DAW. Yeah. I didn't so know, the, I didn't know that the, that the, that the producers called it DAW. Oh yeah, I don't know. That's how it's, mm -hmm. I learned it in school. Sure. But um, and so like a lot of the different plugins have just different tones. That's how like a lot of the songs come together for me. As I hear something I'm like, oh, that sounds kind of like. What's your favorite so, plugin? Um, right now my favorite plugin is this like, if it's a vocal plugin. I was using this thing called Ovox. Uh -huh. It's a Waves plugin. Uh -huh. and that's what I was using on like this song in particular. And it's kind of like it has a bunch of it has like vocoders and it has like a doubler and like just has like a bunch of cool shit. It's like um, just makes vocals sound super layered and thick. Oh, oh I, you know, I've got a song I need to keep working on. I'll send it to you when it's done. Maybe you can rap on this one for me. But I was making it like a, um, 
I was making like a beat like with the Ovox, but not using the instruments. I was just going to use my voice uh-huh. and like do like it was going to be a Conky Tonk versus Bobby McFerrin. But, um, you know, the oh, Don't Worry little, Be Happy a game. Acapella. Right? Yeah, that's right. But I'm doing acapella Ovox. So it's going to uh-huh. sound like a like music still. So maybe I'll get you on that one. I'll, 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 I'll be honored. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, a little bit more of uh, the sincerity of the posse. Keep your chin up. It's still a reality that you orbit in the dopest solar system in the galaxy. Yeah, this song's like seven minutes long. The, the downside. Space bearings, criminals, bouncing from planet to planet. All right, well, there you go. I'll give that one a. Uh, I'm gonna give that one a strong half. Strong half. So we're That's still pretty good. So let's tally it up, shall we? At least we got uh, one, two, three, four and a half, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, no, nine. Ten out of eleven. Ten out of eleven. I like it. Friends. It's a classic. That's a freaking classic, man. Do you agree with me? <laughs> Send me an email with the subject line, Butler. You are one rapping motherfucker. That's right. You disagree? Well, you know, it, it, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. No, no. Please. Do you disagree with me? Send me? Put that in the subject line. Disagree with me? You son of a bitch. I came to this for some rock, and I'm hearing this hip-hop bullshit unsubscribed. <laughs> Put that in the subject line. <laughs> and it's the rock and roll geek at gmail.com. Well, Michael, yes. um, fill me in on your uh, – so where, where have you been gigging these days? What's, what's – you're like a busy – rock and roll man still see I, i'm like this is, i have nothing i have no band anymore so uh this is what i've got keeping me sane um, i uh, joel just had hand surgery today the butlers played the retro junkie last last friday and the plunkets played on saturday and, is joel uh, playing in the plunkets now too no 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 the Did rest Billy of the come guys up that? no the rest of the guys mick on guitar and this guy um um uh Luke, who at one point mm. was in the Choir Boys, and he also played bass for the Brutalist for a short period of time. He okay, was the yeah, other I'm guitar the player, and this other guy from this Australian band called Supernaut. Okay. Uh, what's his name? Oh, shit. I can't think of his name. He's a really cool guy. I forget. Oh, God, I forget his name. He's a really cool guy. <laughs> anyway, real talented. He played also also played acoustic guitar and sang. And then, you know, of course, um, Patrico on vocals. And Charlie, the great Charlie on drums. Fantastic drummer. And me on bass. <clears throat> we, nice. <clears throat> the Plunkets did that. I had to break the news this week uh, to my wife that I'm not going to be home for Thanksgiving because I got a J.J. Savage up in Albany, New York on the um, day Ooh. after Thanksgiving. Yeah. Why don't you leave the day after Thanksgiving? <clears throat> huh? Why don't you leave the day after Thanksgiving? Just go straight <clears throat> from the airport to the gig like a true rock and roll. I may. Who? I don't, I'm not sure when the... They sent me a plane ticket and I'm not sure when the plane ticket... I, think I was just going to ask you that. So, so there's, they're buying your ticket. You're not... Yeah, I would not pay to go... I'm not paying for JJ Savage gigs anymore. Any any chance that the wildlife is playing with you guys? I uh, wish. <clears throat> Are they from Albany? Oh no, they're from New York. Albany's pretty far from New yeah, York City. Yeah. Albany's a few hours away. <clears throat> oh. I was hoping um, I could take a trip to to New York City to to meet up with handsome Dick Manitoba so I could get him to lay down vocals on this song that Sven and I were working on for him. But I don't know if I'm going to make it to New York City. That's well. That's pretty exciting. That's the extent of my musical stuff. I got more, you know, Butler's things in January. And what are the? Uh, I miss the, the Feather Witch, play? huh? Oh, I miss the Feather Witch too. W- what does the Plunkets play? All ACDC songs? No, hardly any ACDC anymore. A couple ACDC. Okay. Plunkets only um, play like twice a year, if that. Right. And then you said Joel Proto had hand surgery? Joel just had hand surgery today. His hand's in a cast now. Oh, man. How long has that happened? How long has he laid out for? I don't know. Well, I guess the too usual much, surgery rehab. Too much shredding? 
I guess. I don't know how that works. I mean, I'm in constant pain, but I'm not going to have any surgery. What kind of pain is Michael Butler in? <sighs> you name it, man. My right thumb, I can barely move. My hmm. left shoulder is in constant pain. My neck hurts. My back, I can barely walk. Hmm. Other than that, I'm doing great. <laughs> <laughs> are you uh thinking about picking up like a pill habit to kind of start managing nah, that stuff I'll or just what? power through it beer, and, power beer through. and pot i power through it nice that's a, that's my rap lyrics beer and pot i power through it there you go you gotta start writing these down in your notes i thought about taking pills but i said screw it beer and pot power beer and power through, through it. it there you go see just hey, that you know, easy see, just that easy, easy. friends that's how it all starts. It all starts with one line. That's right. The new song um, I got, I just made up the new, the Americano. I think you might like it. I just got to yeah. lay down some vocals on it. Okay. Well, yeah, let's do, let's get these demo. We'll, so we, I mean, I don't even demo them out. We can just go record them. Then I got um, another one was, called uh, The Ugliest Person in the Whole World. <laughs> do you really? <laughs> That I'm the Who's ugliest the ugly? person. I'm the ugliest person. In the whole well, that's right. I figured that's, 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 that's And then I might pull. I'm thinking about pulling Misha, throw Misha to the Lions out there. Oh, oh yeah. And then I got I a know, couple others, a of, but I think those might be the strongest ones. I, I have like a. It's crazy when you start going back and looking at songs. And I have old like a murder heartbreak song ideas that just yeah. never. That's how it's done. I mean, that's how Van Halen did their albums. So they did their last album. They went back to some yeah. old demos. Well, that's how um, they did a lot of albums. I was just looking at the American Heartbreak catalog. I remember when we did Human Touch? I I played it on my on my show not too long ago. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. And then uh, if you know you look at if you look at American Heartbreak on Spotify, the you know what our number one song is? Primal Scream. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great one. We killed it, man. Yeah. We did it better than Molly Crew. That's right. Oh, I, I should have called and gave you a show review. You want another blank? Extend this another hour. I'll give you a show review of Motley Crew. Oh, the... Did you go to the the stadium tour? I, I took Sunny and Gage. Yeah. Did you see the opening and, band uh, that played at three thirty in the afternoon before the doors opened? No, we didn't get down. We actually, as we were walking up, we could hear like Joan Jett finishing like Bad mm -hmm. Reputation, and then uh, we got in just in time for Poison. And uh, Motley Crue played after that, and then Def Leppard played. By the time Def Leppard played, Sonny was kind of spent. Like, we watched eight songs of Def Leppard. Uh -huh. um, I can imagine. Def Leppard was great. Him. But they were like, they're kind of playing some. Def Leppard's still killer, like, musically. Yeah. But they're kind of doing the, like the. They're, they're, some of their edge is kind of gone. You know what I mean? And Motley Crue is a track fest. Well. Uh, maybe I mean yes, there was definitely tracks going on there. I don't know. Like it sounds to me like Vince is singing because uh -huh. it, it, there would he's be like the along to back, he's singing along to a track, like probably on choruses and stuff like that. But uh, like the verses, <laughs> uh, they would have to really like you'd have to have some. He's too like, and you know, there's a there's a the bass is a track. That's what I've heard you say that. Yeah. Well, Tom Peterson. Tom Peterson said it. Tom Peterson said the bass is a track. Tom Peterson, I told, I've said this story a million times. I'm going to say it again. I went to the okay. Rock and Roll Fantasy Camp. Cheap Trick was there. <clears throat> and they were, somebody asked Tom Peterson about his bass, and he said, this bass is kind of like Nikki Sixx's. It plays itself. <laughs> and I saw Motley Crue at the uh, Bill Graham Civic when they had the famous Colonel Panic during Tommy Lee's drum solo. You know what a Colonel Panic is? No one, no. I was with old, you that show, the, old, the old Macintosh computers, um, when they would crash, they would have a kernel panic, and they had a video screen behind them, and the laptop that was playing the video crashed, and it, and on and behind him, he's doing a drum solo, and it said kernel panic, restart oh, your I, Mac. I do remember that. I think you were well, at that was, show with me. Uh, we went together. Yeah, we yeah. saw him with the fucking. He had the like the mega loop yeah. like roller coaster thing. And yeah, the that was drum, awesome. the bass was a track. Nikki Six took his hands off the bass and the bass is still playing. <laughs> you love that stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'm, um, I remember we saw, uh, you love like when you get, when people like to, like those spinal yeah, tap moments. We saw, we saw, I was with you, Iron Maiden and Ghost. 
Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, we, that was the whole band went. That was the last time the, all the band went to a show together. Yes. I think maybe the only time. I was oh, no, flipping. It was me and Joel and Matt and Aaron. Yes. I don't think Erica went to that. We did Scorpions. Yeah, I went to Scorpions a couple, uh, last week or the week before. I last. saw a picture of that, dude. How was it? I went to see Thunder Mother because uh, I was supposed to interview Thunder Mother, who's a great band, by the way. All girl. Hard I think I have one of their records. Sweden. It was fun. Scorpions is really cheesy, man. <laughs> They're getting, they're getting really pretty cheesy, old. Really cheesy, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. It was a good show. Nice. The other, um, like, w- one that you love that you got like a great. Well, there's a couple times. One time we saw a Motley Crue play at uh, the Oakland Coliseum. For someone that hates Motley Crue, I've seen them with you like three times. Yeah, which is I go, funny. <laughs> I love. That's a band I love to hate. <laughs> yeah, totally. I I, the thing <laughs> is, I used to love Molly Crew and I used to love Nikki Six. I used to think Nikki Six was great. Now I think he's a he's a fraud. Yeah. Well, we went and saw him at Oakland Coliseum. I remember Vince rode out on the Harley and it like gassed out the whole Coliseum. I don't remember that. <laughs> Did I go to that? We, were, we, we went to the Oakland Coliseum and like they came out on the Harley and it was like he's a real Harley. And it was indoors, so the whole place was smelled like exhaust and like gasoline. (laughs) And you were cracking up at it because it was like during Girls, Girls, there was like, clean out on the Harley. No, it it wasn't the Oakland Coliseum. It was the uh, was Crew Fest at the Concord Pavilion when Nikki Six had a guy in the front row thrown out of the venue for taking pictures with his phone. He had the guy thrown out. Who paid for a front row the, seat? I don't know if that was the same night, but it was um, Crew Fest. They were playing inside oh, of a yeah. in inside of a like a rubber room, like a you know padded. No, cell. that's one we, I saw them on that tour with you too. Yeah, that's <laughs> what they did. That's see, when I this, pissed. This, in, I've seen you four times. I've seen them all. Like, that's what I had to piss. I pissed in a cup. On yeah, the, and now that one they were doing Doctor Feelgood album in yeah. the entirety. It was yeah, like the 30th anniversary right. Doctor Feelgood. Yeah. So Tracks I think it was galore. Crew Fest. But the first, but that was like the second time, or when they had like got back together. But the first time they got back together was like you, yeah, and the me. Carnival, yeah, and I think Shadubi, I think yes. Paul Scabuzo went, uh-huh, and we were, I remember. remember we took the Bart train out yes. there, Oakland Coliseum. Like people, the stage was yeah. like a carnival, and Tommy and yeah, Nikki, and was Nikki like, Six was calling Tommy Lee T Bone. That's right. I'm and so glad like the, we're back together, T Bone. And that was like the Harley Davidson indoors yeah, at the Coliseum yes, one, yeah. where that it was so like gas out of the place. Fucking and then ridiculous. do you remember the Bart train home? Like everyone was <laughs> like the whole train was drunk and everyone was doing shout at the devil. Yeah. Were you with us on that part? And was going shout, shout. And they like girls were taking their top five. I don't remember that. I awesome. must have driven. Oh man, it was it was that. fun. It was a good. It, it was like a whole like the whole like train was just like everyone was like drunk and they were the whole Motley Crue shout at the devil chant. Um, it was pre like everyone having a camera in their in their pocket. Otherwise, I'm sure it would have been documented. Right. Yeah, so you you do love to hate Molly Crew because you've yes. seen them. You've seen them like you basically see them every time they come yeah, around. I, <laughs> this last I never miss them. I hate the band. I never miss them. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was really fun. But anyway, Sonny was like, "I'll send you a video when we got the phone." And Sonny like when Motley Crew because Sonny loves Motley Crew oh. and he was like so excited to see oh. him and he was like, I mean, he like totally loves him. They opened up with Wild Side no. and he was just like. like yeah, and he was like, he was like up on his feet going, doing like the amen, you know, and like uh-huh. doing the, the fist pumps. And it was just like smoke and it was like going to kiss, you know what I mean? Oh, so man. visually for a nine year old kid, it's incredible. I'll send you a video. I'll send you a video. All right. We're at an hour and 50 minutes, my friends. Yeah, we got to wrap this thing up. It's past my bedtime. It's already 846. I should have been in bed an hour and 45 minutes ago. You, you watching Bachelor in Paradise? No. Oh, not me either. Um, <laughs> just checking. <laughs> All right. Space. Uh, the album is called Space Case. MC Conky Tonk. It was great having you on again, Casey. I don't know. If people don't like it. That fuck them. I enjoy talking fuck to em. Casey on the show. Well, you know, I'll come back on and we'll do a rock we, show. We I'll, have I'll a good come, chemistry together. We have a good repartee. We do, we do. I love it. And I'll, you know what I'll do? We'll come back and do like a proper. I'll maybe I'll show you like uh, Casey's like current jams or something like that. I'll yeah. give you a playlist of all like right. music I've been checking out. That's all rock. Sounds good. And we need to get together and go fuck some whores. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's get the band back together. 
<laughs> All right, Casey Crenshaw. I will post a link to. It's not Casey Crenshaw. It's MC Conky Talk. I will post a link to where you can uh, stream this. Can you purchase it yeah. too? I, I mean, I, I think there is. I'll a just post that link. Donate. You, I'll just post that yeah, link. Just you post can the hyperlink or so it's on. It's on everywhere you can stream yeah. it. You just yeah. type in MC Conky Talk. Yes, yeah, so you can pretty listen, easy to figure out. You're all paying for your streaming shit. You can listen to it for free. And give it a That's thumbs right. up if you get it. Is give there a it way a to thumbs give... up. Give it a download. Hey, you know, I, I might collect some money. I got I got a I collected a royalty just a couple months ago from my previous. Here's MC what you do: talk release. Go on Spotify and hit loop and just play yeah. it over and over again and go to bed. Exactly. Let's all do that, and you guys do that too. Give it some spins, friends. Yeah, man. You know. All my problems would be solved if people would just do that for me and put it on a loop. I, you know, I'd get that seven hundred thousand dollars we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, well, you get uh, ten million spins. I get my, I get, I get my life back. I think you get I thirty. Get buy bucks. my life back. What's that? I think you get like thirty bucks if you get a million spins or something like that. Well, let's get it up to a billion. Yes, let's get in ten billion spins from the Rock and Roll Geek Show. <laughs> if I get ten billion spins, I will become a donor, Michael. Yes, the wife will come back. <laughs> Rose, and the wife will, Rose come back. will be back in your life. <laughs> well, it takes the billion spins, people. Get, oh, come get on, looping. friends. Casey's in love. <laughs> Casey misses his girlfriend. He needs I her do. back. Get that. Right. We got to get it up to a billion. All right. All right, <laughs> All right, All right Casey, my friend. I'll talk to you later. Thanks. I'll All right. have a good one. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. There you go, Casey Crenshaw. I'm going to close out with a song. Why not? <sighs> Let's see. This was sent to me. What do I want to play? Uh, sent to me by uh, Jim Wren. Uh, 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 I got to use the bathroom really bad. This is called Nope from the David Bierman Overdrive. The song is called Nope, which is a um, remember that that band, Outrageous. What is it? Outrageous Cherry. They did a song on Alice Cooper's last album. Well, this is a cover of an Outrageous Cherry song. The band is called David Bierman Overdrive. I four recordings. I think is the label. Jim Wren, friend of the Rock and Roll Geek Show. He's got a record label. This song is called Nope. Thank you for listening, friends. Please keep the donations coming because they're dropping off, and if they keep dropping off. <clears throat> This show will die a horrible putrid stench filled death. So please, friends, I'm begging you. Panhandling. Here's Nope. I'll talk to you very soon.
It's a rock and roll geek train wreck. <laughs>